What is this planet? I don't know. We've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on, let me just give you a hand. <laughs> It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Oh, cool. Should he be dark or colorful? Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. It'd be cool to shoot like that. Ugh, air ball. I should ask Dad to show me again. What kind of a Viking would I be? Dad said he was gonna fix that last month. <sighs> right? Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. This isn't greedy, right Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Hmm, I wonder where he hid them. 
Here comes the shark stinger. Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! That pedestrian better get out of the way. How can you run over innocent people? Nobody should die like that. Mantroid and his minions will pay for this. Chris, breakfast. Okay, Dad. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons, but just in case. Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now I have to locate the second part of the map. So glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. Man, I wanted to go to that. But Dad had to watch the playoffs. Chris, I mean now. I know, I'm coming. Next time I tell you to come, don't ignore me. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I get things to do. Pour yourself some milk. Breakfast of Champions. <sighs> What'd you expect, a waffle? It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you could be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah, okay. So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? Uh, big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today I bet we win. Now that's the fucking spirit. I'm sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. 
Anybody yeah, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? No, it's fine. I worked it out. I, I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Oh yeah, are you excited too? I don't know. Santa probably put me on his naughty list this year, huh? Nah, Santa says you still get a present. What do you want? Whatever makes you happy, Chris. That's the best gift ever. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Okay, what would Captain Spirit do? Those dishes definitely need a mega clean. Oh man, this is cold. I might have to check out the water eater. Score two points. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. I could pick up all the beer cans so we could recycle. Dad's going shopping. Are you serious? Let's see. What do we need? A 
I've never seen a beaver around here. Hmm, maybe I could cook something for Dad. God damn, you're on fire. Ew, sticky beer cans. Beer can monster cannot be. Mm. Seriously? Open the goddamn eyes. Open the goddamn carry. Boring. Hmm. I just too busy to care if I go online. Grandma and Grandpa are so cool, but no way I'm ever leaving Dad. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. This has to be Mom's. She liked art. Hmm, let's check this out. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. You can't win this battle, Nocturious! It's already over, Power Bear! Cool. Uh. Cool. Don't let Mantroid control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die! <laughs> Give up now! We don't have to fight! You're not the boss of me, Power Bear! You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? I'm sorry, Nocturus. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Ah. Oh, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, 
Please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit. Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge for me. Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. Chris, answer the phone. You don't hear the phone ringing off the hook? I need a pin code. What is it? No, no, no! Better not be making any prank calls. Come on, don't be afraid. Go in there and turn on the heat. But first, put on your magic cape. I can help Dad do the laundry using my mind magic. Yeah, look at the scoreboard, motherfuckers. All right. Ew, these clothes even smell dirty. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think I'm off. I hope I set this right. Oh, that's nice, Chris. You're better than a housekeeper. Just don't ask for a raise. Beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Still in progress. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. 
Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? We will forgive them if they don't join Mantroid. He's not worth it. We have to live in peace, or you will destroy them. That's my job, and that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. Geez, where's the heat? I bet the water eater is sleeping again. I wonder when I can start to shave. Superhero shave? I never get tired of hot dog, man. Never. Man, I love this issue. Wish I could draw like this. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. No diving today, Nemo. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. Why is the microwave beeping, kiddo? Did you use it? Snack time! Did you make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first. Best mac and cheese ever. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. That does not look good. Light on. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared.
Shoot, that's way too high for me to reach. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Yes, this will totally protect me from Mantroid. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Dad was so angry at the police. I remember Dad yelling on the phone a lot. Jeez, Dad wrote a lot of letters. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. I love listening to mom's old records. Careful of booby traps. told me he had a new friend. They dropped this guy and not me. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. That's scary. So we moved because dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. Oh. My. God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way! Dad used to always talk about this basketball. I'm too old to be measured now. Right? I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Oh man, she loved this song. I haven't listened to it since 
for a long time. A long time. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. Playtime all the time. Mmm, chocolate. Thanks, Claire. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. One more piece and I'm almost done. Hey, Spider Baby, I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast, he's in one place. <laughs> I miss playing ball with my friends before we moved. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. Eyes sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. I have read this one so many times. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. Hmm. This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. Come on, come on, I got money on this. Oh, for the three. No superhero should wear those. But they're so comfy. I hope the Flying Fortress is safe after the snowstorm. Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope it'll be cool next year. That's how it's done, yes! Maybe Dad would want to watch an anime instead. Dad. Yes, yes, yes! Come on! Dad never smiles like that anymore. Dad was so popular. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. There's my hot dog man. 
I can't see Dad selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. Oh, those are dad's pages. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah, uh huh. Cool story, Dad. I feel the power. We never use this door in winter because of the snow. Hmm, let's check this out. I hate seeing them like this. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Extra bonus points unlocked.
my key to unlock the portal to another dimension. It sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. I can't go anywhere without the keys. Looks like we had a visitor. Oh my god, the lake demon is rising. I can't fight Snowmancer looking like this. No fair. Oh, Snowmancer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? Now the Snowmancer is ready for battle. If I get caught, the ice giants will turn me into a popsicle. I had to rescue my old cereal bowl after Dad used it for an ashtray. Gross. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. I can't let Dad find my secret stash. Ever. <laughs> Open sesame. <gasps> I loved watching Mom draw her comics. Maybe I can use this to read the map. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. These are my favorite baseball players, even if I don't understand the stats. Harry did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now.
Maybe I should get a butler. British. Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. A fortress looks safe since we last talked. The maze of doom. Captain Spirit heard about the secret treasure inside. Better look at that map again.
Now the Snowmancer is ready for battle. I hate seeing him like this. Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am Mar T Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! Goodbye, log. Never burn. I think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Dad loves his stat notebooks. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Dad, you, you sleeping? 
Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Fuck! That's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought... I thought you said... The pine tree? <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're... You know, when you wake up. Don't be a smartass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? <sighs> Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Hi, Chris. How are you? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just, just... Just? Just, you know, cleaning up the house and stuff. On a beautiful Saturday like this, you should be playing instead. I even saw you clearing the snow out of the alley, so I hope you don't work all day. Well, it's laundry day. Dad's watching the game. So... So, it's your job to clean the house? Actually, I was going for a nice walk and I thought I heard a loud noise over here. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Dad just tripped and fell. But he's okay. That sounded like some fall. You sure he's okay? Uh-huh. He got all excited about the game. And he tripped over the table. I swear. Well, don't swear for your dad, honey. Leave that to him. Must be some game. I hope you have something else planned for today. Oh, yeah. Me and my dad are going to go buy a real pine Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. Stephen and I better get one so we can start decorating. Oh, I love this time of year. Me too. And Dad said we could get the best Christmas tree on the lot. You certainly deserve the best Christmas tree. And if you need any extra decorations, we have a surplus. Ooh, that would be awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking care of your father. Of course. We're both on the same team. You're a good son, Chris. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared, you can come visit us any time, day or night. Understand? We're here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. 
Man, I bet you wanted to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh. No, you just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. I, just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! <laughs>